It is now officially race weekend and we are revving up for the Indy 500 on Sunday. Tonight we will get you set for race day with a look at the weather, what you'll need for the track and how the drivers are getting ready today. But first, a tradition renewed with race fans back downtown. Rachel Krause shows us the sights and sounds of the AES 500 Festival Parade. <laughs> Oh yeah, we love the month of May here in Indies. Making their way down Pennsylvania Street, the AES 500 Festival Parade kicks off. After a two year break from the parade due to COVID-19, this is a day many Hoosiers have been waiting for. Excited for the little parade to come, you smell me. We're just excited for the parades. With thousands of people turning out along the route, Hannah Reed and her family snagged their spot early. I know. The seat was open, so we had to take it. And everyone looking forward to different parts of the parade. The cheerleaders. <laughs> what do you like about the cheerleaders? Because they cheer. Seeing all the dances. The horsey. Yeah, it's hard to imagine that it's been three years since we've been out here doing this. And so I think the excitement that we've seen from the community, but certainly for all of our staff, the, the hundreds of volunteers that are out here today, the big story is just that we're doing this. So, you know, we're just excited. Couldn't ask for a better day. Bob Bryant, 500 Festival president and CEO, says the parade has been an indie tradition since 1957. And after a tough two years in the pandemic, he says it feels like the whole city is ready to celebrate the month of May. And this is really the culmination of a full month of activity for everything that the 500 Festival does in the community. So we're excited to kind of put, put the icing on the cake, so to speak. For Indy resident Abby Doster, Today's parade feels extra special. Well, this is actually my birthday. Today fell on my birthday, but for years my parents have brought us out to the parade and we've celebrated my birthday here at the parades. A long-standing tradition for her and her family. Noster says after two years without this level of pomp and circumstance, they're thrilled to be back to celebrating the Indy 500 weekend from downtown Indianapolis once again. Like a lot of our little guys, this will be our first time that they actually get to come. So it's a, even more special for us to be back here. So great to see everyone out there. Remember, we are your home for everything 500. You can catch the rebroadcast of this morning's parade tonight at 8 o'clock right here on Channel 13. And then sunrise starts bright and early at 5 o'clock race day morning. We will be on all the way until noon, helping you get ready for the race. Then be sure to join us at 6 o'clock Sunday night for complete coverage of the Indy 500. And you can watch the race right afterward at 7 o'clock.